I'll hook you up. There you go. I ain't going to be on your roof. Well, look, I'm going to ask you something. Uh, I've never asked you this uh, personally and certainly not publicly, but one more question on the show. Uh, I consider you to be a good friend. You also know that I have been friends over the years with Bobby Brantley, who was on your show there for a couple of years. Good guy. Good and, guy. But there was a time when the show went sideways that, and maybe it was just me on the outside looking in, y'all didn't see eye to eye. And I was trying to, on both ends of the yeah. of the rope, I was talking to you to try to mediate with him. I wanted him to mediate with you because I felt like, you know, y'all do your own thing, and are both successful in your own rights without each other. But I kind of felt like maybe if y'all could bury the axe or tear the wall down that y'all could do some more things together. I don't even, I have no idea what y'all status is now, but I'm just curious for what you can tell us on this show. What happened? Why did it happen? You know, and how, how do you guys stand uh, now in 2022? I can tell you, I don't know why it happened. I'll never know why it happened. I mean, I guess everything, you know, I tell, I tell and everybody. To be, and to I be perfectly talk. honest, I never I, ask you and I never ask him. I, yeah. Um, I don't know why it happened. I really don't. I can tell you that I believe everything that happens in our life brings us to the point we're at today. Yep. And had it not happened, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Right. And, you know, and I believe we're where we're supposed to be in life. I mean, I just, I, that's how my belief is. So I don't know why it happened. I don't question why it happened. Um, and I'm not going to lay the blame on Bobby. Um, I'm not going to lay the blame on me. I'm just going to say that Bobby made some choices in his personal life that he felt was best for his advancement of his personal life. Uh, new wife, new direction. Uh, some of the choices he made, I just did not feel like I wanted to go down that road. I'm not saying they were right or wrong. I'm just saying we came to a crossroads and Bobby chose to go one way and I chose to go the other. You know, looking back, I, I hate it happened. You know, Bobby and me, we were tied in a frog's tail and that's water type. Um, we haven't spoken in years. However, we have a lot of friends in the same circle. So, and I knew back then what you were doing. I mean, I, I knew, man, you, you had a heart. You've always cared about people. So, you know, I could read under, I could read under the, the, the headings. And uh, I just honestly, man, it just, when something happens in your life that, that changes you so dramatically, sometimes it's for good, sometimes it's for bad. Uh, I wish Bobby the absolute best in his life. He has a little, another look, another youngin. That's, uh, he had one pass away when he was younger, but mm -hmm. now that's his fifth youngin that's still living. Um, he's married. He's happy. He's living in Kenley. Um, man, I wish Bobby the best. I hope that, you know, he finds all the joy in life he wants. I hope that he, you know, his dreams to get back up on TV. I mean, I hope that mug just blows up Bo, like a bunch of dynamite in a room with a monkey and a blowtorch. I mean, I really do. I just, I hope Bobby does the best he can. I wish the best for his family. Um, sometimes I just think that it's best to not revisit past decisions mm -hmm. and so you know i just i will will i ever film with bobby again no will bobby ever film me probably not can we get along yeah we could get along it's just you know it's just it's better for us to be friends than it is for us to be partners if that sure. makes sense I, sure i understand and, uh, I, I mean i do I, I i value what we had i'll always have fond memories i don't remember the bad time and uh you know moving forward it's just you know Scars are just tattoos with better stories. And I, I live my life like that. I, I'm full of scars. Scars of the heart? Well, sometimes those stories you just don't want to go back through. Me and Bobby left a lot of scars on each other's hearts. And brothers do that. So, you know, I, I don't ever foresee us getting back together as a TV show or anything else. But, you know, I, I'm not going to say we ain't going to sit down one day, eat a steak, and laugh about all this. So that's where we're at. Well, man. if y'all decide I, to I do. do that, we all invite me so at least I can – be a part Are of you going to pay? You buy sure, I am. Sure, I am. <laughs> can we eat at Sadler's? No, we don't. We, if we, we can eat at Sadler's. I, 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 we need Sadler's. I might call Bobby next week and no, we can announce no, a because if we, run if, for a steak. If we eat at Sadler's or Faux Show, just like if we at Lizard Lick and your phone's ringing every three minutes while we're trying to do a podcast, if we eat at <laughs> Sadler's or Faux Show, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to get up and go wash a dish or cook a steak or do yeah. something. We need to meet somewhere kind of uh, in the middle so we can sit down and, and enjoy yeah. a meal. I got it. I know exactly where to meet, man. I seriously, I know where we can all meet. Yeah. yeah. I think the kickoff game is September 11th at uh, over there at Carter Finley. Now I'm not allowed to go we into Carter Finley no more. Why is what? that? They don't allow me in Carter Finley no more because last time I went over there, I carried you with me. 
on the Carolina sideline wearing a Carolina jersey, an uh, overcoat, uh, and then, you know, go up and down the sideline telling all the coaches and everybody that you're an NC State fan, and I got you on the Carolina sideline standing right in the middle <laughs> of the field and doing all that. So I got I got a, Mr. James Sperlin, uh he uh, he uh, suspended me for 15 years from the Carolina sideline. Good job, I Don't Ronnie. feel bad because look, I got texts and emails for three months from every state football player and state wrestler. <laughs> I promise you, man, did I really just see a picture of Lizard Lick in a Carolina? Yeah, I lost a bet to Hermie. I had to. <laughs>